we will start our lecture. Uh, this is the beginning of the topics uh, the fuzzy logic. So, fuzzy logic is an essential uh, component for the soft computing. So, today we will learn about basic concept of fuzzy logic and to understand the fuzzy system we should familiar ourselves with different terminologies. So, we will explain the different terminology related to the fuzzy logic. So, the first is what is fuzzy logic? In fact, fuzzy logic is a language we can say more precisely is a mathematical language like any language you know. So, this language is also used to express something which is meaningful to others. So, it is a language this means that it has grammar, it has its own syntax, the meaning like a simple language for communication like English. Now, like fuzzy logic there are many mathematical languages we know. So, one language is called relational algebra which is based on the operations on set. So, this is also called relational logic. Boolean logic is basically based on the operations on Boolean variables it is Boolean algebra it is also called and predicate logic or it is called the predicate algebra which is basically operations based on the well form formula or proposition also called the predicate propositions. It is very interesting that fuzzy logic like relation logic, Boolean logic and predicate logic is also deals with some elements. The elements on which this fuzzy logic depends is called fuzzy set and it is also alternatively called the fuzzy algebra. And another interesting fact is that the fuzzy logic essentially combined the different algebras like relation algebra, Boolean algebra and predicate algebra together. So, it is basically a mixture of the different mathematical languages to define another new language that is the fuzzy logic. Now, so the word fuzzy may not be new to us. So, if we search dictionary the meaning of fuzzy is, is not clear or it is called noisy it is like that. Now, as an example so we see one figure here we see one figure here this is the figure. Now, so sometimes we see that is the picture on this slide is clear. So, we can say yeah the picture on this slide is fuzzy that means not clear whatever the wording it is clear we may say that it is not clear or there are many noise in the image. So, the image is noisy image is fuzzy. In other words we can understand the con meaning of the fuzzy if we see its antonym. The antonym of fuzzy is creeps. Now, creeps in the sense that if we say there is a there are two regions and if we say the boundary if the boundary is not clear then we can say the two regions are separated fuzzily. On the other hand if there is a strong boundary by which we can easily distinguish two regions clearly then we can say that the, the boundary is creeps. So, this way we can understand the fuzzy versus creeps we will learn many thing about this fuzzy versus creeps in our uh, next uh, slides next uh, discussion. So, we have a little bit understanding about the meaning of fuzzy our next uh, discussion exactly with some examples. So, how the two logic may be say logic with fuzzy sets and logic with creeps set. Okay. So, I say here set anyway. So, I will uh, discuss about what exactly the creep set it is anyway. So, fuzzy logic versus creep logic. Now, say if we ask some questions and then answer to that question if has the clear meaning then we can say that answer is having creeps answer. 
So, Krebs answer usually express in the form of either yes or no, true or false like this. As an example, suppose the question is that we have to identify a liquid. Now, any liquid like milk, water, coca, sprite is given and then if we ask the question that is the liquid colorless. Now, you have to give the answer in terms of only two things yes or no then it is called the Krebs answer. So, this way we can understand uh, exactly the Krebs, uh, Krebs uh, system and alternative to Krebs system the fuzzy answer let us see how the fuzzy answers can be. Right. So, if we ask one questions and the answer can be of many instead of only two solid answers. So, the answer may be may be may not be absolutely partially etcetera. So, there are many many form many values for the same answer. So, so this is basically the concept of fuzzy answer. I can illustrate the concept with an example. Say fuzzy system is like the question is is the person honest and a person is given as an input let them are the Ankit or Rajesh, Santosh, Kavita, Salman like. So, if we ask the question is the person honest say Ankit. So, their answer may be extremely honest, very honest, honest time to time or extremely dishonest. Now, so, so for, a, for a question unlike the Krebs question for the fuzzy questions or for a question the fuzzy answer unlike the Krebs answer may have different what is called the answers. Now, so, these different answers if it is there for the same question then which is the correct answer actually because all answers seems to be acceptable or rejectable. Now, which answer is there? Now, we can give a score to each answer. So, here I have given a score uh, here for each answer for example, extreme honest 99, very honest 75, honest at times 55, extremely honest 35. So, this means that if it is say two valued answer like say Krebs answer then only two and then score will be 100 and another is 0 whatever it is there. But here the different values of the score this means that the answer which is a very honest it is also the correct, but correct with a validity score it is called the 75. Now, obviously question that arises that who, how we know what is the score actually. So, we will discuss about that how the score for a for an answer can be calculated and that can be tagged into that answer to signifying that how answer is significant or how answer is acceptable. So, for the question is concerned anyway. So, uh, the idea is that these are the answer is called the fuzzy answer for a given question unlike the Krebs answer. Now, in fact our world can be better described fuzzily. This is because if I say what is the temperature today? So, you can get an answer like very hot some people can say that comfortable the extreme or very cold it is like this. So, this means that for the same question the answer can be different if the same question is fired to many people, but everybody can give the answer according to their own estimation whatever it is there but the answer is like that. Like the temperature another what will be the weather today. So, if I ask to predict it to some expert person then he will give the answer fuzzily that means, yeah weather is sunny today may be sunny may not be sunny may be cloudy or it is like that. So, the answer can be for same questions of different form and different form has their own value and then we have to take all the values in fact and then process it so that the answer is acceptable to us. Now, so, so, so be the best idea it is that the system that we are using it is basically better can be described fuzzily or it is basically the system or we can say that uh, everything is in the form of a fuzzy and then we can take the fuzzy manners or the fuzzy way to describe any system rather. So, if we describe a system in the in the way of 
in the way the fuzzy decides then this system is called the fuzzy system. Now, typically uh, the fuzzy system has many ingredients or elements. So, obviously the input and output is the part of any system that we have already discussed in the first lecture itself. So, if this is the entire system then this is the input and then output. Now, need not to say that input is obviously in the form of a crips because we usually give input to the system in the form of a crips value. Similarly, the output also should be in the form of a crips value. So, in this system there are two boundaries one input and output, input and output are in the form of a crips value. However, input can be transformed into some fuzzy form and then the fuzzy system can come into play and so, so in this type of fuzzy system there are many constituents many elements are there. So, the first element is called the fuzzy elements and taking one or more fuzzy elements we can discuss about the fuzzy set and then many fuzzy sets can be connected with the set of another elements it is called the fuzzy rules and finally, a set of fuzzy rules can govern us to decide is called the fuzzy implication or it is called the inferences and this whole the things constitute what is called our fuzzy system. In other words to understand the fuzzy system it is our task to understand what exactly a fuzzy element it is and then what is a fuzzy set and then using the fuzzy set how the fuzzy rules can be obtained and then how the inferences can be described in the form of a fuzzy rules and that all these things if we learn it then we will be in a position to discuss about the fuzzy system. So, in our subsequent lectures we will basically discuss about all these elements one by one today we will discuss about the fuzzy elements first. Now, so let us see exactly what is the fuzzy elements. So, fuzzy elements basically essentially it is a fuzzy set. So, we can better describe a fuzzy set in the form of a crypt set actually. So, we know exactly the concept of set. So, this the traditional set that we know it is in fact is a crypt set for an example say x denotes a crypt set and it denotes the entire population of India. Then you can say what are the elements yourself, myself or the elements belongs to the set x. Now, I can derive one set again from this set x or some other means suppose it is the h, h is the another set it denotes all Hindu population. So, any elements that is means any person any individuals belong to this set is the set composition itself for example, here h 1, h 2, h 3 all these things are the elements to this set they are basically individual who basically satisfy some characteristics being Hindu population. Like Hindu population we can define another set say all Muslim population for example, these are the set of all Muslim individuals. So, these are the example of crip set and we know any crip set can be better described in the form of a graphs or it is a Venn diagram. So, we have a, we have shown one Venn diagram here for this h m and x all the things are basically shown here and we can see that there are the two boundaries the two boundary basically essentially difference or basically define solidly the two regions one region belongs to h and another region belongs to m and these two regions basically belongs to another bigger region. So, this bigger region is basically called universe of discourse in this case it is x. So, all the regions whatever it is there has a solid boundary and that is why they call the Crips set. Now, so like Crips set the fuzzy set is also almost similar, but little bit difference is there difference so far the presentation is concerned. For an example say suppose x x denotes a set and let this set be all students in NPTEL. So, this is the universe of discourse in this case. Now, I let us define one set 
belong to this x let this set be s and we define this set s as all good students. Now, let us see how the same thing can be defined using a fuzzy manner. So, we define the set s as a two things in each elements one is s the element itself and g s some measurement of s itself where s is any element belong to x and g s is a measurement. Now, this measurement in fact, we can say measuring the goodness of a student. Now, for example, if I want to measure the or evaluate a student. So, how I can evaluate? I can take some exams and I can okay, take the marks obtained by the student in that exam. So, G s can be a sort of same type of measurement like. So, it is a goodness measure okay. it is, uh, rather it is called the uh, measurement that that the s belongs to this set s. So, for example, here again we can see. So, suppose there are few students which are Rajat, Kavita, Salman, Ankit like and their measurement is expressed here for Rajat is having the score 0 0.8, Kavita having 0 0.7, Salman 0 0.1 and Ankit is 0 0.9. So, this set signifies that all students who belongs to this set like Rajat, Kavita, Salman, they are the good student, but goodness is defined by means of measures. In other words, Salman, if he is a good student, then Ankit is also good student, but Salman being a good student, his score is 0 0.1 and Ankit his score is 0 0.9. So, the difference between the two is basically how they have their own membership values that means 0 0.1, 0 0.9 whatever it is there but all them belongs to the good student in fact, although Salman may score less or Ankit may score highest here. All of them are the good uh, belongs to the good uh, students actually. Now, here another, another point you can note that the measurement value that we have mentioned here is basically in between 0 to 1. Actually, it is the concept that is followed in fuzzy logic all the measurement value G s like so, value should have in 0 to 1 both inclusive. So, any value in between 0 and 1 are the basically taken as the membership value for this one. Now, so we have little bit understanding about the fuzzy sets and let us see what are the difference the salient differences between the creep set and the fuzzy set. So, the differences between the two sets are defined in the form of a table. So, if we define a creep set it is basically is a collection of elements that means one part only. So, S whereas, if it is a fuzzy set then it is a collection of order pair it is called the first part is the element itself and second part is the measurement of that element itself. So, so sometimes this measurement mu S in fuzzy theory it is called the degree of S or it is called also called membership value of S. So, what we have understood is that a creep set is a collection of elements whereas, a fuzzy set is a collection of order pairs. So, two things together form one element in the fuzzy set. Now, inclusion of an element any element say S into the set A S capital S is creeps that is it has strict boundary yes or no. If that element belongs to the set yes or no we can easily justify that one. However, inclusion of an element S into F the which is a fuzzy set is present then with a degree of membership. In other words a same element say X can belongs to two fuzzy set F and G, but with different membership values. For example, if F denotes the good student and G denotes the bad student then same element say S can belongs to the good student as well as bad student, but with different membership value. For example, S appears in F with membership value 0 0.7, whereas the same element belongs to the set G with membership value say 0 0.3. So, it is like this. So, same elements may appear into the two sets with different membership values, whereas 
same element may not appear into two crypt sets, it is either in one set or another. So, there may be ok. So, we have understood about few definition about the fuzzy set versus crypt set. Now, we will discuss about uh, ok. One point you can note is that as I have already told you the membership values or degree of membership value we can say alternatively like this degree of values, degree of membership values or membership values uh, that can be there if an element belongs to fuzzy set with any value 0 to 1 inclusive and then any value in between 0 to 1 inclusive. On the other hand the same element actually if it is a crypt set can also express in the form of a fuzzy form with the membership value 1 and 0 only. For example, here is the set H. So, if that element presents there then I can say the degree of membership 1, if the element does not belongs to that set then we can say the degree of membership is 0. So, basically this is a fuzzy set essentially with the membership value 0 and 1. Now, with this understanding if you do not write this one, this one and this one then we can say that H is a crypt set which elements are H 1, H 2, H L. On the other hand, if it the membership value 0 that means, this element does not belong to the set. This be, so, in this case the person become a null set. So, basically 0 and 1 being the two extreme values can be expressed to define a crypt set in the form of a fuzzy set. So, this way we can say that a crypt set is a fuzzy set because anyway crypt set can be converted in the fuzzy set easily but a fuzzy set cannot be expressed always in the form of a crypt set because their membership value not necessarily always 0 and 1 in between 0 and 1. So, this is the one uh, conclusion that we can infer it from our discussion that the crypt set is a fuzzy set, but a fuzzy set is not necessarily a crypt set. So, we have understanding about the fuzzy set versus crypt set or we can say Crips logic versus fuzzy logic little bit. Now, let us see uh, one important point here. So, far the fuzzy set decision is concerned the membership value and there is a question that how the membership value each elements can be decided and who can decide this membership values for each element which belongs to the fuzzy set. I can give an example. Say suppose uh, all cities in India or more precisely say suppose there are 6 cities in India like Bangalore, Bombay, Hyderabad, Kharagpur, Madras, Delhi right and I want to define one set let the name of the set is city of comfort. Now, I have decided some value let the values for each set belongs to this set like Bangalore is 0 0.95 and so on. Now, so the idea is that how this comfort of the Bangalore city 0 0.95 can be decided. There are certain population vote or something like population opinion or any way feedback whatever we can consider by this feedback if we normalize those feedback into the value uh, this one then it will give us to a fuzzy values. So, this way we can have the fuzzy membership and regarding the membership value we will discuss in details uh, in due time. Now, there is another example by which I would like to mention here. So, that we can understand uh, the concept of Crips versus fuzzy. The idea it is here say we know exactly how to grade the marks obtained by a students in a subjects. So, basically this is the grading formula. Now, these are the grading that we can dip we can see that there is a strict boundary between one marks to another. So, a marks will be either belongs to the grade A or it is X or B, but cannot be a same marks belongs to the two different grade. For example, one marks which is there in this it can belongs to this one that means the marks can be E X, marks can be A, marks can be B. If it is marks in E X it is definitely with certain membership value say 0 0.2, if it is belongs to B then may be it is 0 0.3, if it is belongs to A then may be it is 0 0.9. So, there is a there is a concept and this is basically the example of Crips or formulation for the marks. Now, the same thing if we do it in a fuzzy formulation it will look like this. 
So, this is basically the graphical display of the Crips formulation and the fuzzy formulation we can see it is the fuzzy formulation. So, here we can note that any marks for example, uh, any marks say it is this one this is the marks. So, this mark is basically this basically denotes the D grade and this basically denotes the P grade. So, this marks both belongs to the P grade and both belongs to the D grade. If it is if it is if we draw like this. So, if it is a D grade then this is the member C value and if it is a P grade then this is the member C value. So, the same marks belongs to the two sets P or D with the different uh, membership values. Uh, some examples further can be used for example, temperature is high. So, we can discuss, discuss it with is in a fuzzy form low pressure color of apple, sweetness of orange, weight of mango and so on so on. So, these are the few examples uh, which basically we know. So, these are the input and then they can be discussed in a fuzzy form also. Now, so for the definition uh, okay, we will start with few terminologies. So, the first that a membership function and so it can be defined like this. If x is a universe of discourse and if any element x which is belongs to this x then a fuzzy set A which is defined in x is defined as a set of order pairs as I told you order pairs x and mu a x. So, this is the concept of fuzzy sets and definition of basically membership function and vis a vis the fuzzy sets. Uh, so, here as an example that how fuzzy set can be x is the all cities in India and A is a fuzzy set, set of comfort and then this fuzzy set can be discussed using this form. Now, so membership functions may have any value, they are with either discrete membership values, here I can show, I, I, I show one example here, where the all, so these are the elements in between has the membership value this one, in this element the membership value is this one here this one. So, this one. So, the different elements, so different elements have the different membership value and it is called the discrete what is called the values of the membership function. So, the membership values can be discrete, the membership values can be also uh, continuous domain and the element also can be a discrete. Here in this example all the elements that belongs to this are defined in terms of discrete or uh, quantities the membership value is also may be discrete or continuous. So, so what I want to say is that the element can be either discrete value or continuous value. Likewise, any membership values for element can be of discrete values or it can be of continuous values. So, this is an example which basically shows how the membership values is continuous. For example, in this region, so membership values for any element in a continuous domain can be described by means of this graph. So, it is like this whatever it is. So, so membership value can be a discrete value, element can be discrete value, the membership uh, uh, value can be continuous, the element also can be continuous. Now, there are few more things uh, the terminologies are there, I will quickly cover this terminology within one minute, so that we can understand about it. So, the first terminology is called the support the support of an element is uh, of a fuzzy set denotes that whose membership value is greater than x. So, all these elements are basically the support which is belong to define this fuzzy set whose membership function is like this. So, what you can say that a fuzzy set in fact can be described by means of a graph regarding this thing we will discuss in details later on. Now, here core A, core A is basically all elements a which are having membership values is equals to 1. Now, here the core A all these elements having the membership value is 1. So, this basically denotes the core A and we can understand that core A is essentially a fuzzy sets. Now, so normality now a fuzzy set can be a termed as a normal it is basically a boolean value either 0 or 1 or the Crips value if it contains at least one element which uh, uh, core value is non empty that means it has at least one element whose membership value is 1 and if it does not contain any element whose membership values uh, not equals to 1 then it is not a normal. So, normality is false. 
Now, crossover point, uh, so there are the elements whose membership value exactly 0 0.5 is called the crossover point. For example, in this graph we can say this is the uh, two elements, it has the membership value 0 0.5, this also has the membership value 0 0.5. So, this element and this element which belongs to the set x is basically the crossover point in this case. Okay, few more terminologies we will discuss as the time is short, so we will discuss in the next uh, lectures. Thank you.